Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm obviously here for a Beacon Book Box unboxing. I'm just on the floor this time. I'm just kind of moving around to do unboxings. And I currently have this ottoman that looks like Appa that is going to serve as my table to put things on because I'm on the floor. I don't know why. It's just the mood that I was in today. So let's get into this. This is the September box. And I have not seen spoilers for this yet, so I am pretty excited. So let's experience this together. Spoiler card is Vengeance is Mine. And look at the masky, masky mask. Okay, don't look at that. Uh, oh, didn't think this through as far as propping things up. Well, we'll we'll get there. This is what we are looking at. We have some bubble wrap and some boxed items. Uh, I'm mainly excited about this because I'm pretty sure I know what this is, in which case I'm going to be very excited over it because y'all know I'm a big fan of this series and I wanted to see the third one. Ooh, ooh, I like the mountains. That's pretty cool. So this is the third mug in the Akatar series that they've been doing. So this is technically the Akawar mug and she's turned around and we see her back tattoo, which is, I'm a fan of that. I also just really like the design in general. I kind of like that it's greenish, so it matches the cover and it has like kind of celestial looking things, almost the night court insignia in the background. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. So that is what it looks like. We see her back tattoo and it wraps around. There's mountains on either side and it has a black rim. Alrighty, there we go. That's that's the mug. Big fan of that. Uh, I, in case you guys didn't know, the Akatar series is probably my favorite series of all time. I'm still trash for it years later. So literally any merch that comes from that series is gonna be my favorite thing in the box. Hate to break it to you guys. Um, next thing in a box I'm assuming is going to be the ornament. This one is clearly going to be Never Night themed because it has the Never Flinch, Never Fear, Never Forget slogan looking all ominous and red with the little swordy dagger with the wings and the let's see what it looks like oh it literally is that design okay it was last time have i not learned my lesson yet so this is the design that is on the ornament i can't wait to see all of these together we're gonna have a full year's worth of these by the end of the year next ooh, it looks like we have new soap uh, and this is from a company that I know we've gotten stuff from before just because I recognize how they wrap it and what it looks like. So this one is Corian, Emperor of the Undying Soap Bar, Linen and Aloe Vera. It just smells like soap. <laughs> but these soaps are always beautiful. Look at that. Ah, uh, it just smells, it smells like a natural soap bar. <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it other than it just smells like a clean, all natural soap bar. Just wanted to confirm because I figured based on what the logo looked like that it was Furyborn inspired and it is indeed Furyborn inspired. And let's see, the label was designed by Book Bubbled. Um, the Nevernight ornament was designed by Riddle and Ravens and the mug is the third of four in the series designed by Diana Dwarick. So that's how far we are on the spoiler card. Next... We've got this, which is looking like a pillowcase. Every gift is light and dark. That is what that pillowcase looks like. I honestly, even if it's a series that I don't love, and I'm not saying I don't love this, this is the, from the Three Dark Crowns series. I like these designs that we get where it has like typography in the center and then designs around the border. I literally have like my Twilight blanket from Beacon <laughs> on my chair back there. I'm just a huge fan of that aesthetic where it's designed to have like just, I don't know, a quote, but I always love this part of it. Big fan of that. Who is this designed by? This is designed by Katarina Book Designs. Alrighty, and we are down to <gasps> the book. These Vengeful Hearts, Secrets Are the Most Powerful Currency of All by Katherine Lauren. I love this cover, guys. I love it so much. Look, I don't, it's so like minimal and I just, I love it a lot. Ooh, let's see what the back says versus like the inside flap. There's always a difference there. The queen of hearts sat alone on the top shelf of my locker. The coy smile on her face said she knew something I didn't. If the rumors were to be believed, she did. A queen of hearts is the eponymous calling card of the red court's leader and its presence could mean only one thing. My invitation had finally come whole man. First of all, eponymous, that's like an SAT prep word that just flashed back into my mind from like 10 years ago. Um, that sounds great. Ooh, okay. So we have a, um, 
swag thing on the front, but the author letter is on the back of that. And usually their books are signed, but not only is it signed in a fancy silver Sharpie, we have a Queen of Hearts stamp on the title page. That's awesome. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, I'm not gonna read the full synopsis, don't worry, but this little blurb in addition to the back just sounds so good. It says, anyone can ask the Red Court for a favor, but every request comes at a cost, and once the deed is done, you're forever in their debt. Oh man, what does it look like, Nakey? Um, ooh, unexpected coloring on the spine. It's just a black book, but it has like neon, like magenta on the spine. Interesting. Okay, so that is the book. Came with the author letter, signed, stamped, and what have you. And then in the bottom of the box, we've got paper goodies. Well, this one, I mean, I guess it's a tree. We have a wooden bookmark in the bottom of the box. Um, sometimes Justice was all about the small victories, and that is from Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And then on this side, oh, I like this one way more. I would have lived in peace, but my enemies brought me war, which is from Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I don't think I have a Red Rising. Oh, we've got a creepy creeper sin. Okay, bye. She's just gonna hang out back there. I don't think I have any Red Rising merch, so this is exciting. We'll stick that right in the mug. Um, it looks like we also have an ebook download of Huntress Life After Book One by Julie Hall. Ooh, we got a fancy art swag with an ebook download of Stealing Embers, also by Julie Hall, but it looks like it's a different series. A Realm of Monsters, A World of Lies, she belongs to both. Oh man, this is Fallen Legacies, book one. And what is this? Oh, this is the recipe card. Oh, oh, it's another Red Rising thing. Break the chains, ha. Huh? And this is Darrow's Banana Muffins. Would Darrow eat banana muffins? I'm picturing it and it's making me chuckle though. Uh, so, We've got a recipe to make some banana muffins, which I feel like is a really good fall thing. I like muffins. I'm a big fan of muffins. So those are all of the paper things in the bottom of the box. That is everything that came in the September Beacon book box, plus like the cat in the window. It's always an added bonus in these videos. Uh, I'm very excited to have the next mug in this series. So that is going to be it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one.